So I was up one night editing an episode of Minecraft that I made. And I was done editing, and it was like 1 in the morning. So I went to go shut off my computer, and it turns out, being Microsoft, it has a bunch of updates that it needs to do right this second. How convenient, right? So I'm sitting there for a half hour waiting for the freaking updates to end so I can shut off my computer and the computer just automatically shuts off so I'm forced to assume that it probably finished its updates. So I go to sleep. Then the next day I go to turn on my computer and it opens up to this blue screen that displays your computer did not start up properly and apparently this is what they call Windows Automatic Repair. Now. I've told you guys about how my computer broke for almost the entire month of March. Uh, this, this was why. So they give you a whole range of options, which apparently are supposed to work. But they, there's one option that allows you to go exit and go back to Windows 8.1. So I click on that, obviously, and it takes a few seconds to restart and it just sends me back to automatic repair. So that's useless. Then I have some more options for troubleshooting, like I could insert a device or a disc, but guess what I don't have? A device or a disc. So I ignored those, because those are completely out of the question. But there's a system restore, which apparently you're supposed to, your computer is supposed to automatically make a system restore point. So I went to check if I had any, and sure enough, I had made a system restore point four days earlier. So I clicked on that and it wouldn't let me because apparently I had antivirus software running. <sighs> so that's out of the option too. The only other two options were to either reset or refresh my computer. Resetting would wipe out my entire hard drive. It was completely useless. If I refresh my computer, it would get rid of all my settings and apps that I downloaded, but not all of my files. So I went to go do that because I was I was I couldn't think of anything else to do, and it told me I needed to insert media. Now I had had to refresh my computer before, but it never told me I had to insert media. So I was really confused. After going through the options a hundred million more times, I got so desperate I tried to reset my computer, but even that wouldn't let me work because. I had to insert media for that one too. So I was completely hopeless. Luckily I had a box from when the computer company sent me a box so I could put, well, they gave me a box because I thought my computer was broken one time but it wasn't. So what happened was I couldn't connect to the internet and I thought that they'd messed it up so they sent me a box so I could send it back so they could fix it. But I, it turns out I didn't need it so I just saved it in storage until I actually could use it. But this time I actually had to use it, so I start tearing out all the foam that you're supposed to put your computer in, but it was too small, so I had to fit the computer inside the thing. And I went to put the computer inside, and I just left it sitting there for a couple days. And then a couple days later I took it out, and because I realized that you could get a Windows recovery disk for $45 to help you fix something that Windows caused. Alright, hang on, hang on. Let me get this clear. The update that it did, the night that I was editing, failed. What I'm thinking happened is my battery died or something during the update and the computer shut off prematurely, which means half the updates were installed, but half weren't. So my computer wouldn't even start up. So I have to buy the freaking recovery disk. So there's 45 bucks down the drain. I put, I, I get it like three weeks later, I plug it into my computer and it tells me it's not valid. I have no idea. But I ended up getting it to work, but it still erases all the files I had on the computer, so it's still useless anyways. <sighs> Windows, fix your shit.